All right, hey everyone, welcome again to the next mage class. Yes! Okay, so this class is actually for uh, Ice Spear, which uh, is one of probably the most important s spells in my mind. The, so the most important thing that you're always gonna have to keep in mind when you're messing with Ice Spear is position. Everything revolves on how well you can position yourself so that you can hit everyone else. So there are two different ways that, uh, I, of course, that I'll run Ice Spear, and that's going to be either offensive or defensive, just like every other skill I've talked about so far. Uh, Ice Spear in particular, though, is the one I'm going to be using when I'm trying to really go all out on my offense, offense when I'm trying to also protect myself. Obviously, I said earlier, or maybe later, depending on what order these videos are uploaded in, uh, that I would use Fireball, but Ice Spear is what I'm going to do when I need to um, do major aggro control. Uh, so if you don't know anything about Ice Spear, uh, it's, it's the spell that freezes everything in its path. So when you're trying to hit something, you're aiming at a distance and hitting everything in a line. And hopefully it dies. Shao, will you please turn off party finish? Um, So when Ice Spear finishes, you see how you saw how it kind of chained. When it kills something, it automatically will explode and hit something else that's nearby with a charge that's slightly weaker than the one that's before it. And that's important, and I'll come back to it um, later on. So most people hate being in a party with someone who's using Ice Spear because, or specifically meleeers, because they can't hit the enemies that are frozen. Uh, so if Ice Spear is really better suited to something that you're going to be trying to do when you're soloing, uh, but you can definitely use it in a team setting um, in a more defensive way, which I'll talk about later. So Ice Spear has a shorter range than the other intermediate spells and that's actually that's its own thing but it has a very fast charge time so when you're looking at what kind of wands you want to do uh, there, there's obviously uh, different types of upgrades you can do and the ice spear I mean the crown ice wand allows you to put a whole lot more damage on but at the cost of using charging speed so that's actually not a bad thing because the 10% charging speed is not a big deal when you compare it to the extra percent damages. I mean, let me switch wands here. See, the, the time it takes to charge is negligible. It's, it's not worth trying to do. Um, but, I mean, you're welcome to stick with that. Uh, Ice Sphere, just like Firebolt, is... Uh, its damage gets multiplied but not by the number of charges you have uh, from 1, 2, 3, 4, and then the last charge is 6.5. Um, and then obviously once you start chaining to nearby enemies, that goes down. Uh, but it's not at an exact ratio, so don't quote me on it by any means. Uh, mm -mm -mm, let's see. What else? What else? So, be aware. Shao, will you hit that box, please? Oh, I have five charges. I need to do this with two. I mean one. So here's something that you want to watch out for. When sometimes it gets weaker. Okay, see, this guy just got hit by that. And it's not very strong charge. Sometimes that'll happen when you're in um, a, a room that the only thing that has happened is you've charged and thrown ice spear. And, it, and you think you're just finishing something, but then it spawns more guys and they get hit with your trap weak ice spear that's gonna kill that's just gonna kill you because they're all gonna aggro you and it's really frustrating so be aware that if that happens what you need to immediately do is hold on don't kill that um, during this time when they're frozen they do not automatically aggro you so at this time you can automatically play dead and as long as you're dead playing dead before the damage hits they're not gonna aggro you and that's the same thing I talked about with Fireball, or will talk about, although they will notice you as soon as you stand back up. Uh, so that's what you can do to avoid that, or you can use pet spams to stop them. Um, oh, I shouldn't have done that. Let's see, what else? So, here. That's, that's how 
If, if you want to work with other people, oh, these are going to be too, these are going to be too weak to really show it. What you can do is you can use single charges to just completely lock up an enemy. So you see that how quickly I was I can just freeze someone again. I can continually do that to two enemies really easily and just keep them away from other party members without any problem so that they can go over and kill this other pirate skeleton like Xiao will maybe do if I... yeah. <clears throat> And, and that's that's really about how you can do it with other people in the party. It's I generally can do two or three at a time, and you should be able to do the same once you get to rank one, because you don't need to do damage when you're doing this. You don't need to do damage. You just need to be very quick at spinning your screen so that you can aim and grab and take it forward. Um, let's see. I have notes here and I have to try and remember them. <laughs> but so that's actually the most important stuff. When you're trying to when you're trying to be offensive, obviously you're gonna use more charges and the time that they're frozen. Oh, that's not gonna work. Will you open one of those but not kill it please? In the time that it takes for them to blow up. But not just blow up. See, and now if it was normal, he would have just been standing up and he's running to me. And I now have time to... Th I could have hit him with three charges. If I'm trying to be offensive, that's about how long I have. I can generally get to um, three charges. Now, if I... If an enemy has mana deflector and they're using defense, it's going to hurt you. Um, because they can still move at that point in time. And that's a bigger issue with thunder than it is with ice spear because ice spear does not aggro them right away but just kind of be aware of it because it is possible for them to stop using defense and attack you um hmm, actually I, I believe that's all i have to say about ice spear uh you can i want to see if i can do this before oh that was probably the last one so, Xiao, come with me. I want to show you one more thing that you can do with party members because, like I said, party members don't like using you using Ice Spear. They prefer Thunder where you can actually attack. Where is a room that's open? Well, if you throw Ice Spear at the same time that Thunder, I mean, that the animation for Smash is being loaded. The damage for Smash still goes through, and you still freeze them and get to kill them off with Ice Spear, um, which can be kind of nice, but <laughs> apparently it is the wrong way. Yeah. Shows what I know. That's what I get for trying to think ahead. Or <laughs> um, yeah, the, so one of the keys to Ice Spear is just being an elf. They can use it so much more cost effective and they really should take full advantage of it because it allows you to completely completely dominate the aggro in a room and if, if you can keep everyone in a corner it's very easy for the entire party to um, take care of some other like a boss or something or or if it is the boss and they're trying to take care of the other guys, you can just keep them locked there until they're able to get over there and help you finish him. Um, and yeah, so I, I consider Ice Spear the aggro control offensive defensive master because you can use it very easily in either either fashion. Although it's more it's better suited for soloing or just completely overpowering a room because you're trying to keep. Uh, the enemies from hitting your party members and I'm sure you can find better ways to do it but that's how I'm gonna do it so thanks and look forward to the next lesson